Hi, my name is Ashley Stockwell. I'm the Waste and Recycling Education Officer for Townsville City Council. I'm here to talk to you today about how to use and set up your compost bin. So this is a compost bin. Compost bins break down your fruit scraps and garden scraps into fertiliser for your garden. There are three different types of compost bins. There is an on the ground, a tumbler and a chamber. So this one is the tumbler. To establish your compost bin, first we're going to take the lid off. You're then going to add a layer of dry leaves and sticks and twigs to the bottom of your compost bin. The next thing we're going to do is add a layer of healthy soil from our garden to kickstart the process. Then we're going to add a layer of green waste. Another layer of soil from our garden. After you've added the soil, you'll then dig a hole in the middle and that's where you can add your fruit and vegetable scraps. Every time you add your fruit and vegetable scraps, you will then cover that over with a layer of mulch. That helps stop any pests coming into your compost bin and being attracted. It's important to remember your compost bin is a living system, meaning it needs diversity, which we've already provided from the range of garden scraps and food scraps. The next thing it needs is air, which we will provide our compost by turning it every single time you're going to add scraps. And the last thing it needs is moisture. So we're going to add water if our compost is ever too dry, or we'll add some more dry garden scraps if it's saturated. We'll now replace the lid to keep out any pests before giving it a tumble to provide the aeration. If you're having any troubles with your compost bin, it's important to remember to never add any citrus, onion, garlic or dairy products as these will slow down the composting process and attract pests.